Hey everybody, this is Emily with The Craft Corner, and I am excited to bring you another episode of wonderful do-it-yourself projects that you can do at home. And my puppy is barking in the background. I am super excited to bring you guys four projects. We are gonna make a jewelry holder for all of those messy hand-washing moments. But you need to take your jewelry off, set it to the sink. I'm gonna have to bring her down here in a moment. Today we're gonna take a look at four projects. One being a jewelry holder for all of the jewelry that you need to take off when washing your hands. You don't want to lose that next to a sink. Number two being a project that is inspirational for those moments that you need to work out and a little variety to keep you in shape. We are also going to take a look at a calendar that's super posh and trendy and you would love to use it on your desk rather than some of the hideous options out there. Why not fancy it up and make it nice and classy? And last but not least, you heard the inspiration bark in the background. I will bring out Gotham to say hello to you in a moment, but we will be making coconut oil treats for our four-legged friends to keep them nice and healthy. So everybody, this is our inspiration for the coconut oil treats. This is Gotham. She is about five months old. She is a Labrador mix, an amazing little puppy. Um, she is still kind of in the teething stage a little bit, and forgive her Forgive her uh, <laughs> her fuzzy fur because she did take a shower today, so she's having a little bit of a frizzy hair day. Um, but I figured I would go ahead and introduce her to all of you crafters because she was clearly making herself known in the background when I was trying to record earlier with all of her little barking. Um, and I'm sure we'll see more of her in the future, right? Yeah, she likes you guys. <laughs> Without further ado, let's take a look at our projects. I despise getting my jewelry wet while washing my hands, and this project was an insanely fast and easy solution. This unicorn caught my eye at the Goodwill, and for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. Although it looks somewhat discolored, I knew my e-brush would be a perfect remedy. Selecting a Sharpie and a color of my choice, I simply began to spray the entire ceramic surface with the e-brush. As you can see, I have complete control over coverage. Once completed, the unicorn found a home at my sink and its horn serves as the perfect ring holder while washing my hands. Winter hibernation mode is in full effect, so my fiance and I decided to meet it head on with our own methods of motivation to work out. I measured the height and circumference of an empty Clorox wipes container. Next, I cut a piece of computer paper to size for use as my pattern template. Fabric was prepared and spray adhesive was applied in a single strip down the side of the container. After smoothing the fabric into place, I continued to spray and smooth until the entire surface was covered. Using dollar store craft sticks and a metallic paint marker, I wrote various exercises on each surface. Being the romantic I am, I couldn't help but to sneak a few sweet surprises in there as well. Now we can take turns drawing an exercise to complete and slowly get back into shape. Coconut oil has proven health benefits for dogs, so I couldn't turn a blind eye to this easy project for my puppy. Fill a Ziploc baggie with room temperature coconut oil and cut a small corner from the bag. Gently squeeze dollops of coconut oil into your dish or pan, approximately one teaspoon for every 10 pounds your dog weighs. Make sure to check with your veterinarian for this approval. Place in the freezer while decorating your treat jar with a cute little ribbon. Once frozen, move the dollops of coconut oil into your container and keep in the freezer for storage. Use once a day for bedtime snack, training treat, or just to spoil your pooch. They deserve it! For this project, I used manila folders, a white box from Joanne Fabrics, optional glitter, color markers, spray adhesive, a glue gun, and a twig from outside. A background for the box was cut from wrapping paper and secured with spray adhesive. I then cut tags for my calendar numbers by using my cut emboss and a Sizzix tag cutting guide. 
You could hand cut the tags, but I love the ability to save time and to cut multiple layers at once. After some experimenting, I was able to actually cut eight layers of manila folders in one pass. I then used markers in two various shades of pink to add an ombre look to the bottom of the tags. Depending on the position of the marker, you can create a splatter effect or even spray for solid color. I used both techniques to create more depth on each tag. The trick in doing this is to simply move the marker forward or backwards so it's either lined up perfectly in front of the nozzle of the e-brush or slightly off-center. A black sharpie and a stencil was used to create numbers for each month, day, and year of the calendar. I have made free SVG files as a download for those of you that use digital die cutting machines. After cutting my twig in three equal pieces, hot glue was used to anchor them to the back of the box. The final step was to organize the tags in each section, indicating month, day, and year. That is it, my crafty friends. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Craft Corner. We hope to see you next time for the next episode. In the meantime, give us a big thumbs up, like this video, comment, leave us your feedback. We love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.